So everyone, put the heading of document splitting, everyone. Document splitting. <laughs> document plus splitting. What is meant by document splitting? Guys, please join on time. Huh? Okay. Guys, anyway, kindly uh, note it down these configuration steps. Document splitting configuration steps. Note it down. After I will explain. Are you able to see my screen? Yes, no? Okay, please confirm. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Note it down. Please note it down these configuration steps, everyone. Put the heading of document splitting. Document splitting configuration steps. So very soon, uh, maybe next week, uh, we can post the document entries, okay? Create master data and post the accounting entries. Once you completed, please respond, everyone. Done? Completed? Everyone? Done, sir. Remaining people done? Can I go ahead? Done. Done. So, everyone, concentrated everyone. Document splitting. Document plus splitting. Everyone. What is meant by document? Document means? Document means? What is meant by that? Document means document like testing vendor document, customer document. It is fine. Document entry posting. I said many times document posting, document entry posting like that. Accounting. Document means nothing but invoice. Example in the financial prospective, in the financial terminology. Document entry posting means accounting entry posting. Document means accounting entry like that in the financial perspective. Okay, everyone. Document means accounting entry. Splitting means splitting. What is mean by meaning of splitting? Split. Split the uh, data. Split. Dividing. Splitting means dividing, classifying, and... Uh, distributing like that this type of meanings will come everyone concentrated everyone document concentrated everyone document means accounting entry document means accounting entry posting 
for every document guys concentrate here every document means every accounting entry there is a two types of data everyone two types of data one is header data and one is line item data there is a two types of data one is header data and one is line item data document splitting means to split the line item to split the line item to classify the line item to divide the line item whatever pronouns you can line item for example let's open sap let's open sap everyone <clears throat> let's open sap Click on your SAP logon. Example, everyone. Example, if I go to FB50, if I go to FB50, so what we will do here, everyone? Here, uh, this is the line item, everyone. This is the line item. This is called line item. And this is the header data and this is the line item data. Example, document date, posting date, reference. This is called header data. During the accounting entry posting, whatever inputs you are entering here, that is called header data. During the accounting entry posting, whatever things you are enter here, that is called line item data line item data for example everyone concentrate here, everyone let's open i will show you i can tell you how to post the accounting entries each and every field we will discuss now you people try to understand what is mean by header data and what is mean by line item data example i will show you one thing everyone example i will show you one thing For example, everyone, let's observe here. This is called header data. This is called header data. And this is called line item data. Line item data. Example, uh, Ramu and Co account data to cash. 50 means credit, 25 means debit. So this is called line item data. This is called line item data. This is called header data. This is called header data, everyone. You can check anything, actually. Um, example, PR. So this is called header data, and this is called line item data for every accounting entry. Not only this account, this is one accounting entry, actually. 50 means credit. 01 means debit. 01 means debit. So what is the accounting entry here? Uh, like customer account data to income. Customer account data to income. Sales also one of the income. I will tell you accounting entries later. First, you people try to understand what is meant by header data and what is meant by line item data. So this is called header data and this is called line item data. Everyone, concentrate here, everyone. So what is meant by document splitting? Document splitting means to split the line item to split the line item based on the client requirement reporting purpose. So you want to ask one question. Sir, why I want to split the line item? Why I want to split the line item? For reporting purpose. For example, everyone, before, before new GL concept, before new GL concept, new GL concept means before document splitting, how the accounting entry will going to generate? After accounting and after document splitting, how the accounting entry will going to generate? Everyone, concentrate here. Everyone, concentrate here. Now, what is meant by document splitting? Document splitting is one of the objective in the new GL concept. Everyone, concentrate here. Listen, listen, careful. Listen. 
what is meant by document splitting document splitting is one of the objective in the new gl concept what is the use of document splitting document splitting uses to split the line item to split the line item why you are splitting line item for the reporting purpose for the reporting purpose before new gl concept means before document splitting it's called classic gl we are called as a classic gl simply here we can post uh, expenses account data to cash so there is no other objectives once if you document splitting is involved here expenses account data to cash gl account data to gl account amount account data to amount business area account data to business area profit center account data to profit center segment account data to segment so here only gl account data to gl account amount account data to amount but here there is an other objectives also going to involve here business area profit center segment so here we are called as a parameters this is called parameters business area profit center segment here we are called as a parameters this is called amount and this is called master data gl master data vendor master data customer master data blah 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 x y z this is called uh, gl uh, master data this is the amount and this is the parameters sir during the accounting entry posting if you take business area profit center segment what happened if you take like this means you can for example this expenses belongs to which business area this expenses belongs to which profit center this expenses belongs to which segment then later you are going to generate the reports segment wise profit center wise business area wise gl wise blah 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 x y z but before new gl concept here you can generate the reports only gl wise that to monthly reports here it will be update day to day reports monthly reports yearly reports i'm repeating once again everyone i'm repeating once again don't confuse here what is meant by document splitting document splitting means to split the line item where is the line item what is meant by line item line item means it is one part of accounting entry it is one part of accounting entry so why you are going to split the line item why what purpose you are going to split the line item why because for the reporting purpose we are going to split the line item for the reporting purpose got it my point everyone yes no okay what i am telling yes note it yes, down note it down note everyone note it down note please note it down note please note it down note document splitting document splitting is document splitting is document splitting is one of the advantage one of the advantage in new gl concept in new gl concept next line document split document will going to split 
sorry sorry everyone not like that not like that document is going to split you can arise that sorry everyone see here my point is document splitting means to split the line item for reporting purpose note it down like this document splitting means to split the line item for reporting purpose for reporting purpose. Types of document splitting. Types of document splitting. Note it down one by one. Active splitting. Passive splitting. Zero balance splitting, active splitting, passive splitting, and zero balance splitting. And a zero balance splitting. Everyone, listen careful. I will tell you one thing, everyone. My dear students. Done? Noted, everyone? Yes, no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now you people want to understand what is meant by active splitting, what is meant by passive splitting, and what is meant by zero balance splitting. What is meant by that? Why that? What that? Blah, 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 X, Y, Z. Example, everyone. Active splitting means, everyone, concentrate here. Listen careful. Concentrate here. Active splitting means, based on the standard configuration, based on the standard configuration, line item will going to split. Like uh, business area wise, profit center wise, Segment wise, blah 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 blah, etc. Et so, what is meant by active splitting? Active splitting means based on the standard configuration, based on the standard configuration, line item will going to split. Line item will going to split for the reporting purpose. Then, what is meant by passive splitting? What is meant by passive splitting? Passive splitting means everyone concentrate here. Listen careful. Passive splitting means first we can post invoice. First we can post invoice. Later we can post payment. Why we are making the payment? Against of this invoice. Against of this invoice, we are making the payment. So during the invoice posting, we are going to select the parameters, business area, profit center, and segment, segment, blah, 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 X, Y, Z, cost center and all. We are going to select. Everyone, concentrate here. Listen carefully. Against of this invoice, against of this invoice, we are making the payment. Passive splitting means, 
everyone passive splitting means during the payment accounting entry posting all the parameters will update automatically all the parameters will update automatically so this business area profit center segment and cost center other things you are not required to enter here all the all the parameters all the parameters will going to update automatically then what is mean? next one next one note it down zero balance splitting what is mean by zero balance splitting zero balance splitting means everyone listen carefully let's observe this let's observe this my dear students let's observe this so what example example everyone concentrate here during the accounting entry posting during the accounting entry posting when the debit parameter is not equal to credit parameter for example this rent belongs to hyderabad business area i uh, hyderabad business area want to pay the rent due to some insufficient fund i taken the amount from bengaluru business area then they paid expenses i am repeating once again hyderabad business area want to pay the rent but hyderabad business area insufficient fund everyone hyderabad business area is insufficient fund so what they will do they can take amount from bengaluru business area and they will pay the rent so what you people understand here this rent is belongs to hyderabad business area this cash is belongs to bengaluru business area so what happened here this parameter debit parameter is not equal to credit parameter debit parameter is not equal to credit parameters that time everyone concentrate here that time zero balance clearing account is involved automatically when the debit parameter is not equal to credit parameter not only business area business area profit center segment any other things when the debit parameter is not equal to credit parameter that time zero balance clearing account will be involved automatically so what happened here rent account data to zero balance clearing account in hyderabad business area this is the accounting entry will generate in bengaluru business area zero balance clearing account data to cash so zero balance clearing account is credit here zero balance account is debit here credit and debit will going to nullified final accounting entry is rent account data to cash not only this accounting entry any any accounting entry posting during the accounting entry posting during the accounting entry posting if the debit parameter is not equal to credit parameter that time zero balance clearing account will be involved clear clear so far what i am telling yes no okay yes sir yes and put the heading of active splitting note it on one note for your understanding purpose everyone here uh, you people want to understand once again before going to write just i am giving the note for one line two lines like that for why i am giving this note this is the note for your understanding purpose even this note also correct in the interview in the interview only this note is not enough everyone you want to elaborate more that is the reason after some time i can give you interview question and answers maybe after completing the gls we will share you interview question and answers so simultaneously you want to practice then you need to read interview question and answers also not now after completing the gls we can share you pradeep are you following yes sir 
Yes, no? Pradeep joined up. Pradeep not there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Following what I'm yes. telling? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. So, everyone, so I, I'm giving this note also correct, but uh, interviewer cannot happy when you give the short note. In the interview, you want to elaborate more, everyone. You want to elaborate more. We will share you interview question and answers. Not now, after completing the interview. Even I will tell you how you can read, how you want to prepare your own uh, notes and all. Okay? So, everyone, uh, did yesterday, uh, am I tell how to use chat GPT? Yes, no? No, sir. Yesterday. No, 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 sir. No, sir. No. Do one thing, everyone. For example, go on mute. Pradeep ji, go on mute, please. Please go on mute. For example, everyone, if you have uh, um, any issues, generally what you will do, generally we can uh, use for the Google, everyone. Even one more search engine is also there. One more search engine also there. That is called chart GPT, everyone. That is called chart GPT. You can open Google, everyone. I mean, uh, Google Chrome or uh, Edge, whatever. Here you can type. Here you can type uh, chart GPT. Type here chart GPT. You are not required to log on. Simply go to chart GPT. Enter here chart GPT. Open AI. Click on this. And any pop-up will come, click on your yes, okay? And into our yes, whatever, okay? Here, there is a one message box, everyone, here, here. Here, you can ask any question. Chat GPT will give the answer. Any question you can ask. For example, hi. And he will tell something. For example, what you want? I want SAP. Uh, GL SAP GL configuration otherwise SAP uh, which is called uh, enterprise structure configuration steps configuration steps and press enter enter Are able to see my screen? Everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, including system will tell path and everything. So, do one thing. Here, type must type SAP. So initially, you can type, yes, SAP is a mandatory. Okay. So, system want to understand which enterprise structure you are asking. One second. Type SAP, enterprise structure. Enterprise structure, interview question and answers. Interview question and answers. And typing mistake. Press enter. Press enter. Here now, there is in the SAP, there is a lot of enterprise structure. MM enterprise structure, SD enterprise structure, lot of enterprise structure. Do one thing, everyone. For more understanding purpose, here you can type SAP FI. FI, enterprise structure, interview question and answers. Otherwise, finance. SAP finance, enterprise structure, question and answers. What is meant by company code? How to define company code? And explain about credit control area. And uh, what is the signification of physical year variant in SAP FI? 
So chat GPT will give very things actually. Okay. It is it is just like your friend, everyone. Chat GPT is just like a friend. Uh, before WhatsApp, before uh, uh, maybe uh, when I was in uh, college and when we were going to colleges, that time there is a no WhatsApp, there is a no, I mean, Facebook is there. And that time we can send messages, hello, hi, and send reply messages like that. So chat GPT also one of your friend, actually. You can ask anything, it can be replied. But you can type in the proper manner. For example, everyone, I'm repeating once again. Here you can type in the Google or web page. Here you can type chat GPT, press enter. And uh, here you can go to chat GPT open AI. Uh, check this uh, logo. Here you want to go. Any pop-ups will come and click on OK and no or like that. Not required to log on. Not required to log on. Directly you can ask here anything. For example, uh, do you write songs? Yes. Uh, right. Mm. Love song for me. So you will write one song, everyone, for us. I mean, see, it is a song actually. So nowadays, no writers is not required. No writers, uh, anyone, not, not required. The chat GPT will. And here, uh, how to cook Indian recipe. Otherwise, uh, biryani and press enter he will tell you all ingredients and all what you want and uh, anything anything here okay you can ask chat gpt he, you can utilize this so how to cook indian recipe biryani so uh, this is not a video and this is not a presentation just chatting everyone just it will give only messages it give the answers only message manner uh, so here uh, here uh, where so type uh, la drama pic in anger it will come <laughs> okay pics also coming ah huh? yes yes uh, then fine you are using chat gpt yeah Yes, yes. Very good. Very good, Venkat. Very good. Appreciate. So, uh, La Drama Pix. Okay. So, here it is it's suggesting on some websites actually. Okay. It's not coming any pics. It's coming. It suggested some uh, websites. If you go here, that websites will come. Uh, then pics will come. Bhakti photos yes, like recently. Uh, see these are all. We have done it in cognizant. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So it's a but chat GPT just for text messages. In case if you want, even it is suggested some links also. If you click on that, you can go to specific links and uh, and you see. Okay. Even it will tell jokes and uh, any, if it will take jokes also, okay. Uh, <laughs> I say, we can chat with our friends now. So I, uh, my mood is not good. Tell me one joke. Not Nobody is not required. You can do friendship with chat GPT. It will help you. Tell me one joke. It will tell. Uh, write one song for me. It will write. How to cook biryani. It will tell. Anything. How to learn SAP and uh, where I can get good mat SAP material. Here you can type anything. SAP uh, Chat GPT will going to suggest where you can get SAP material. He will share some links and all. He will suggest you how to go for material. 
uh, how to configure, how to tell anything. You can ask anything. It can be help. Even Google also help. Google will give a lot of stuff. But the chart GPT will give specific uh, things actually. For example, here you can type SAP uh, active splitting. Active splitting. Some typing, typing errors, everyone. Active splitting means press enter. So it will give a lot of stops actually. SAP active splitting means what? Blah, 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 blah. It will give a lot of stuff. Even he suggested some links also. So whenever you have time, just go through this. You will get more knowledge. And uh, SAP zero balance splitting. What is meant by zero balance splitting? So here it will give a lot of stuffs and all. Understood everyone? Yes, no, okay, okay. Yes, sir. So, okay. So now I'm repeating once again for two minutes of revision. What is meant by, uh, uh, so chart GPT you can use everyone. Even you can use Google also. It's a, it's not a wrong, I mean, it is good thing everyone. It is not a wrong, okay, it is not a wrong. To utilize the resource is a good thing actually. To utilize the resource is good thing. You can utilize Google. You can utilize, uh, you know, uh, chat GPT. Even you can watch any other YouTube videos also. End of the day, you people want to learn the subject. Then you people want to get the job. That's it. That is the target. Okay. Please utilize the sources also. Okay. Uh, for example, everyone. And even if you join any IT company. Uh, even company also given different, different tools, everyone, like ticketing tools, testing tools, some uh, storage uh, uh, tools, like how Google Drive uh, work. Same way, every company, there is internal tools is there. So there, all the documents is there, all the information is there. Any problem will come, you need to take correct information and apply that uh, that problem will going to resolve. Everything is there. IT, information system, all the information is there. But you want to know how to use that. That is the target. What is meant by IT? Information technology. Information technology means every information available there. But if any problem will come, how to utilize that information? That is the target. Clear? Clear so far? Are you following? Yes, no, okay? Yes, right. Yes, sir. So I can revision once again. Come, come back to my subject, everyone. Come back to my subject. What is meant by document splitting? Document splitting means to split the line item for the reporting purpose. Document splitting is one of the objective in the new GL concept. We have three types of document splitting: active splitting, passive splitting, and zero balance splitting. Active splitting, passive splitting, and uh, zero balance splitting. And note it down, put the heading of active splitting. Put the heading of active splitting, everyone. Put the heading of active splitting. Active splitting means active splitting means line item will going to split line item will going to split
based on the standard configuration based on the standard configuration Next one noted on passive splitting. Passive splitting. Passive splitting means passive splitting means. During the payment accounting entry posting, passive splitting means during the payment accounting entry posting, all the parameters, business area, profit center, segment, dot, dot, etc. All the parameters business area, profit center, segment, dot, dot, etc. Update automatically with reference of invoice. Next one, zero balance splitting. Zero balance splitting means, zero balance splitting means, when the debit parameter, when the debit parameter is not equal to credit parameter when the debit parameter is not equal to credit parameter that time zero balance clearing account involved automatically Zero balance clearing account is involved automatically. Can you please note it down this everyone?
can you please note it down this Done, then, sir, noted. Done, sir. Completed. Yes, sir. Yes. So, can anyone please read the note? Yeah. Complete uh, document splitting notes. Remaining people, check it out, everyone. Please, anyone, please. Not interested. Can I continue? I speak, sir. Yes. Documents. Yeah. Document split means to split the line item. Document split is one of the advantages or objects in new GL concept. Document splitting is to split the line item from line item for reporting purpose. There are three types of document splitting, active splitting, passive splitting, and zero balance splitting. Active splitting means the line item will going to split based on the standard configuration. Passive splitting means uh, during the payments, accounting posting, all the areas that is a uh, uh, business area, uh, that is a uh, profit center. All segment. the parameters, sir. All the parameters, not area. All, all the parameters, such as business areas, profit center segments, all, all the, all the parameters will update automatically with reference to invoice. Now, zero balance splitting means the debit parameter is not equal to credit parameter. That time, zero balance clearing account is involved automatically. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yeah. So, everyone, let's do the configuration. For example, everyone, any accounting entry, for example, during the accounting entry posting, I will show you. I will show you how the accounting entry will going to split, act to splitting. How the accounting entry will going to split passive splitting. How the accounting entry will going to split zero balance splitting. So each and everything we want to test. So during the accounting entry posting, we want to test active splitting. We want to test passive splitting. We want to test uh, zero balance splitting. So if it is if it is want to test, you have to do some configuration. So what configuration you have to do? What configuration you have to do? The first step in the configuration, everyone. First step in the configuration. If you do this configuration, then you can feel free to post active splitting, passive splitting, zero balance splitting, 
you can generate the reports and all. So if you want to do that, first yeah. you have to do the configuration. First one, classify GL account for document splitting. Sir, what is this? Classify GL account for document splitting. Everyone, you concentrated everyone. You just uh, uh, understand one point, everyone. Classify GL account for document splitting means. For example, here we created accounts group, everyone. Here we created accounts group. Example, sundry debitor. Sundry debitor means, uh, what is this? Is a vendor or customer? Customer. Customer. So you know, sundry creditor means customer. How the system will going to understand? Now here in the document splitting, you want to specify it. So this number to this number comes under customers. For example, uh, example, sundry creditor, customer or vendor? It's called vendor. So now I will tell you. For example, personal expenses is an income or expenses. This number to this number. Income or expenses? Expenses. 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 So you want to tell expenses. For example, share capital. It's asset or liability? Asset. It's a li liability. liability. Okay. It is a liability. Liability. Okay. So you want to select that. Liability comes under balance sheet. So now this number to this number comes under balance sheet. This number to this number comes under a balance sheet. This number to this number comes under profit and loss account. Like this, you need to select now. You need to classify the GL account, which is expenses, which is income, which is cust which is a customer, which is a vendor, which is the liability, which is the cash, which is blah, 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 You want to classify the GLs for document splitting. Are you, are you understood everyone? Yes, no, what I'm telling? Yes, no, okay. okay. Clear? Yes, sir. Yes. So now my target is, now my target is, our target is very clear. So first one, classify GL account for document splitting. Which is the expenses? Which is the income? Which is the liability? Which is the asset? Uh, which is the uh, customer? Which is the vendor? You want to classify. You want to give the instruction to the system. Basically, one second, everyone. One second. So everyone, sorry everyone, I am back. So classify GL account for document splitting. So how you can do this? How you can do this? So what is the path? This is the path everyone. Like uh, SPRO, financial accounting, general ledger accounting, business transaction, document splitting, classify GL account for document splitting. Classify GL account for document splitting everyone. So how you can uh, going to split? Very simple, everyone. Very simple. And uh, here, let's open the document actually. So share capital. Hmm? So my dear students, concentrate here. Go to SPRO, enter. SAP reference IMG, select your uh, financial accounting, 
financial accounting, uh, general ledger accounting, document splitting. One second. Business transaction, document splitting here. Classify GL account for document splitting, everyone. So this is the path. This is I'm repeating the once again the path. Please concentrate here, my dear students. Please, please, everyone. Very important, everyone. Concentrate here. <laughs> so everyone, concentrate here. Go to SPRO, enter SAP reference IMG. Select your uh, financial accounting, general ledger accounting, business transaction, document splitting. Here, here. Classify GL account for document splitting. Classify Hare Krishna. Don't send messages, everyone. So classify GL account for document splitting. So in case if you want to understand more, you just go through this document. This document can give why, what, when, CR, revenue account, expenses account, I mean bank account, balance sheet account, customer, vendor, blah, 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 asset material. You can classify this. Okay. And whenever you have the time, just to go through this. No, sir, we understood. We need to classify this step. How you can configure this step. You just double click on this execute button and give it here your chart of accounts. What is our chart of accounts, everyone? RM. RM. Anyone remember what is our chart of accounts? RM. RM OC. In case if you are not remember your chart of accounts, click on your browse. You can pick your correct chart of accounts or the chart of accounts will come. You can pick your chart of accounts. RM OC, RM operational chart of accounts. If you double click on that, it, it will come. So click on here. Okay. Okay. Apply. So now you have to split here. Click on your new entry from number and to number. Example, you can type manually. Copy paste will never work. Okay. And from number and to number. Example, the share capital from this number to this number. This number to this number. So is this uh, uh, liability or asset? Share capital. It liability. is an a liability. So here in the category, cat item category, this number to this number is an a comes under liability. Liability comes under balance sheet. Click on your browse. So here you can check this. Liability is there. Uh, revenue, expenses, fixed asset, material, cash, vendor, customer. So liability is not there. In case any specific category is not there, select the balance sheet. Even liability comes under balance sheet, right? Yes or no? Agree? Balance sheet. Press enter. So like this, even... Uh, uh, reserves and surplus. Reserves and surplus also balance it. It is also like uh, uh, this one. Liabilities. You can take balance it. Specific liability is not there. That is the reason we are taking balance it. Secured loan. Unsecured loan. Secured loan and unsecured loans also liability. Is liability specific category is there? Specific category is there. You can select. Otherwise, it is comes under balance sheet. Why? Because liability also comes under balance sheet. And sundry creditor. Sundry creditor is what is this? Sundry creditor means what? Creditor means what? Everyone vendor or customer? Vendor. Vendor. The vendor. And uh, tax payable and current liability comes under liability actually. So liability is not there. So you can uh, select balance sheet. Press enter. The next one. Fixed asset, inventory, cash and bank. So this is called asset actually. This is called assets. So here you can take asset. Mm, asset is there. Asset, asset, asset. 
asset is not there here one second fixed asset comes under fixed asset everyone so and uh, inventory comes under current asset actually inventory comes under current asset current asset is there current asset is there current asset current asset current asset is not there so current asset comes under anyone balance sheet balance so you can take balance sheet and even cash and bank also current asset so current asset is not there that is the reason you can take balance sheet enter are you following everyone what i am doing yes no okay yes sir yes, yes, yes sir, sir. Yes. So sundry creditor, sorry, sundry debitor. So sundry debitor comes under vendor or customer? Customer. 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 In case customer is not there, customer comes under? In case customer category is not there, customer comes under profit and loss account or balance sheet? Anyone? Balance sheet. Balance sheet. Very balance good. Sheet. In case customer is not there, select the balance sheet. Okay. Now customer is there actually. Okay. And uh, one more uh, tax receivable, current asset, miscellaneous uh, expenses, write off, all our current asset. All our current assets actually. So current asset is not there. That is the reason you can select balance sheet. Enter. And here, sales revenue, sales, other income, increase and decreasing stock. What is this? This is called, this is an a income or expenses? Income. Income. income means here income is there income 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 revenue is there revenue revenue enter so revenue in revenue or income whatever then raw material consumption personal expenses direct expenses sales and distribution expenses expenses what is this this is income or expenses Expense. Expense. Operational expense. All our expenses. Even operational expenses also comes under expenses. Yes, yes. Your expense. Press enter. So this is the process of we are classify the GL account. Classify the GL account for uh, document splitting. Which is comes under expenses, which is comes under income, which is comes under customer, which is comes under vendor, which is comes under balance sheet. So we are giving the guidance to the system. We are giving the guidance to the system. So system means it is like a robo. It is don't know anything. We need to give the instruction. You can behave like this. You can behave like that, like that. Okay. Clear, clear so far. Yes, no. Okay. Following. Yes, yes, yes. Any questions? Questions, please. Questions, please. No questions. Let it be. Uh, tomorrow we will uh, uh, cover remaining configuration steps. So why we are doing the configuration means during the accounting entry posting, I will show you how the accounting entry will going to split, act to splitting. How the accounting entry will going to split passive splitting. How the accounting entry will going to split zero balance splitting. Even during the accounting entry posting, where we are going to select the profit center, how we are generating that reports, even whatever global parameters we configured, physical year, field status, then how we are going to reflecting in the reporting and during the accounting entry posting and all. So we will check everyone. This is step-by-step -step process. Everything won't cover in one day. Clear, clear so far? Yes, no, okay? 
Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Okay. So thank you, everyone. Bye, everyone. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.